The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture of you me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. Cool. First, he is the best DEI hire of all time, and he'll put your wiener in his mouth. Please welcome back Mr. J.P. Oh, shit. My bad. There it is. Yeah. All right, that's enough. What were you uh, doing there? Jerking off the ghost of Manute Bowl? <laughs> what the right. fuck was that? <laughs> the Kembe Matumbo. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to yeah. come? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. And also another excellent stand-up comedian. He is the only two-time funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, and uh, he's hosting this year. Please welcome back the wreck, Derek Alders. Two time for probably one more yeah, day. Yeah, dude, one your, more uh, day. your fucking record is in jeopardy, man. Uh, yeah. what, are, what are we going to say about that? Then? I don't know. I'm not even try- I'm not even competing. Right, I know, yeah. but How? I feel like maybe you missed an opportunity to be the first three time, and then that would have been harder to catch. Actually, that's what's going to happen. He's going to go out and he's, host. He's, and, he's and, just going to win. And, and all of a sudden, they're just going to be like, you know what? He did such he, a he good did job. He did so good. He's going to win for a third time. The rest of you were so awful. Like, yeah, fuck the rest of you. <laughs> I'm um, just not going to accept the results unless yeah, I Yeah, <laughs> right. They're like, you didn't even compete. I won. That's yeah, what I'm you the mean host. to say. I have to verify this <laughs> yeah. shit. That's right. Uh, but yeah, uh, so the time at the time that this episode is airing, we have the uh, Wichita's Funniest Person contest, hap- the finals, uh-huh. happening this evening. Um, that is going to be at uh, Club Wave, right? Yeah, that is correct. The finals yeah. are tonight? Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, it'll be Wednesday it the evening. Semifinals. It's the finals. It's the finals. Oh. This year they've got it uh, the week before Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. The so, day before. So they already the had the semifinals. Now yep. it's the finals. Wow. Yep. How many people made the finals? Like 30? 12. Oh, uh, 12's not so bad. You know who didn't? You. You know why? Because you didn't. I didn't try. compete. <laughs> you should have. I can assure you... <laughs> Had I, I would have at least made the finals. Uh, would I have won? Who knows? Uh, too political. I, it just here's the thing, man. Everybody says this. Everybody's like, "Why don't you do it? Why don't you do it?" Look, I would have won already if the, you didn't. If I didn't go way over go my time. twenty five minutes, like hundred <laughs> percent, it's a fact. Okay, the, the numbers don't lie. Well, and it's not for me. It's a contest for people that haven't won it. Mm-hmm. Or when they're newer to comedy, it's kind of a cool thing for the city. And it's just, it's really for the the camaraderie of the fucking comedy yeah. scene and the comedians. And I don't fucking like any of those people. Well, it's a good thing you don't lack confidence there, JP. So, yeah. anyways. No, but it's just not my kind of, it's not just not my cup of tea. All right. Like if fine. I might go do a comedy festival or something like that, it'd be cool. But yeah, it'd be Wichita's all right. funniest person, I mean, Derek Alders has won it twice. Yeah, I know. Point. So, that means yeah. it's, you'll never reach for the sky. No, no, I'm never, I'll never get there. Yeah. Plus, yeah. if I fail, when? <laughs> when I when fail. You fail. When, thank you, Derek. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. If I go home and I jerk off tonight, when yeah. I go yeah. home. I don't know yeah. if I could, I don't know if my psyche or self esteem or whatever you want to call it would be able to suffer the fact that Derek Alders holds something over me. <laughs> I did, though. Besides salary. You have competed in this before. Yes, and I won. And no. And quality, well, of, quality of car. He's got that over yeah, you, Yeah, he's too. got that over Quality me. of life, in just, fact. Just life just in life general, Just life in dude. general. Look, I, I'm crushing it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking crushing it. I'm fucking crushing it. <laughs> Had a baby. All right. <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, Christ. Man. Can we kick this thing off yet? Yeah, I think okay. we did. I thought we were done. No, oh, no, we yeah. have, you never introduced. Uh, I did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. I sure okay, did. Yeah, yeah, I we guess can, we're we can, the... we can proceed. You know what, though? No, since I've won twice, you should introduce me twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> the wreck, Derek Alders. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Yeah. That's <laughs> much better. 
Love it. It's good to be here with you guys. Yeah, I know. I, I feel good I, I about like, this. I'm glad I, you think that. Way. I like that's doing the show with uh, everybody that's on on the me like too, crew. But, but, this, but is, this is yeah, yeah, more comfortable. Time. It's probably like my fifth favorite. Yeah, thanks. That's, hey, you know what? I will take that. That's not last. Uh, that's not last. You know who's last? I do. Just Me. No, you're, no, you're fourth. Dude. I'm fourth? Yeah. No, you're definitely no. not last. Oh, I think so. Yeah, you're fourth. I'm so, hated the most. Some of my least favorite people have been on this podcast <laughs> before. <laughs> Me? Ah, no. Uh, nah, no. we love you. Uh, but anyways, guys, we have an excellent show for you today. We had a lot of shit happen over the weekend that we get to talk about. Uh, and for those of you guys that this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports <laughs> and very inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. I like how, what, you, have to, JP? I like how you have to tell people it's a comedy podcast because yeah. if they just listen to it, they'd be like, what the fuck is the point of this? I, 100%. This, yeah. Yeah. They should be able to tell it's a comedy it's podcast three because bags. we're funny. It's three douchebags in a basement talking about stuff that's going on and what uh, yeah. we think about it. And yeah. So every once in a while, a joke occurs. Every now and then. Every once in a while. Uh, but also, this is an adult podcast where we use oh. foul language and and uh, offend a lot of people. And so if you are one of those people, do us a I favor. I have never said a fucking bad word in my life. I know. That's, I know. That's but true. But if, if, if you are one you're of those a, you're people. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Yeah, Absolutely. If you are one of those people who are easily offended, tell your friends because you're a bitch. Um, but anyways, uh, is that pretty accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good enough. Pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, but we do have and an extra. If you don't show. have friends, kill yourself. <laughs> kill yourself. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. And that's why we don't get paid on YouTube right oh, there. No. Yeah. That's okay. We're not? No. Well, then who's cutting my check? Because... Uh. <laughs> I am I was getting, promised a check. You, I am it's getting garnished. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. I'm paying you for other services, JP. Uh, okay. Nice. That's yeah. cool. I'm whatever. Yeah. As long as I'm getting paid. Uh, but we do have an excellent show. We've got hot topics. We've got overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions in preguntas. A draft. And as always, a shitty situation to wrap this up. But we always kick the show off of what happened to us over the last week. We call it our week, week recap. And we always kick it off with a very anticlimactic JP. Man, I had some shit, too, and I just uh, I can't remember it. Really? It's weird. Really? You know they say drugs. Are, you on, are fuck, you on drugs? I am. Oh. I am right now. Other than weed? No. Oh, okay. No. I figured. There's some other shit I should probably be taking. I but, agree. But fuck that. I, I mean, you know, yeah. antidepressants. Right. Probably you know, things weed. like that. Yeah. yeah weed should, probably does a pretty good job, though. It does. You wouldn't know because you haven't been sober in like 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been sober. Really? Yeah, I, it's been longer. It's usually when he's asleep. Yeah, I mean, it's probably been a good. Ten, <laughs> yeah. It's probably been a good ten to twelve. Oh no, I'm high when I go to sleep. <laughs> I'm high when I go to sleep, and when I wake up, I fucking first <laughs> thing I do. Wake and bake. Yeah, yeah wake and bake. No, I mean, but dude, I. Man, yeah, I'm sure. I smoke too much. Nah, I don't think so. I agree. Let's. I don't. I. I, I say. I set you, a challenge. I, I've known you now. How many years? Ten. Yeah, Something close to close to close, it. close yeah, to that. Somewhere I've known there. you for that long, and I don't want to know a different JP. Oh, dude, it wouldn't be as fun. No, he wakes and bakes whenever I'm he's a going real to. asshole when I'm not when I can't get high. What are you now? No, I'm a very nice person. Ah, smokes in the morning, calls it wake and bake. Smokes when he's going to sleep, <laughs> calls it sleep and chief. Yeah, and then smokes when he's having sex, poke and toke. <laughs> there you go. God damn, there needs to be a lot more of that, or, or get poked and toked. But yeah. that's Either way, the yeah. Uh, but no, so sometimes I just have them blow it straight into my ass. <laughs> oh my God. Jesus Christ. Nice. Your tapeworms get a contact. Oh, yeah, <laughs> oh my dude. God. That motherfucker gets hungry. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. All right. That's how you stay so thin. Yes. That's right. Yes. Uh, my I've, tapeworms got the munchies. <laughs> uh, what does it do to the AIDS? Well, here's the thing, man. <laughs> I don't have AIDS. <laughs> oh. God damn. Sorry. My it's mistake. It's HIV. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't have that either. I know. We know. Uh, but no, uh, you at least bold. Yeah, man, I bold uh, very well. <sighs> <laughs> yes and no. I was gonna say that's a very I mean, average. Did you act like me? Yeah, no. <laughs> it, God damn it, Jason, get your got shit me together. Fucking bowling's got me frustrated, man. Well, then don't do it anymore. No, it's, it's a dumb game. I love, I love doing it. It's just. Yeah, but so do it's eight year old so, kids for it's their birthday. It's so easy now. Yeah. Like you've got people that should probably be averaging one ninety and they are averaging two twenty. Oh. And yes, they have a bad game, but and I'm averaging over two thirty. 
So, and I'm not good enough to average over 230, but it's a walled up house shot and you've got the equipment's changed. Everything's easier. It's just, I want it to be more of a challenge, but when they put out a shot, that's more of a challenge. Everybody bitches because oh, I'm not bowling good. Oh, Again, your I lack of just, confidence is just stunning. I just can't throw it out the fucking <laughs> lane and make it strike, dude. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, how I usually bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not good, and I can't throw right. it out the lane and make it strike. Right. Oh, boy. Pisses you off, but uh -huh. you're happy when you bowl fucking. Yeah. Bowl. Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, I can't. Man. Whatever, I'm not happy man. unless I bowl like fantastic. Even if I'm like, if I bowl like a 220 or something, I'll be like, well, God damn it, if I wouldn't have fucking missed the 10 Yeah, pin right. Before, it's never good enough. It's never good enough. That's weird. That doesn't seem like you. This is not a bowling <laughs> show. This is not, but JP doesn't ever do anything. That's why I would be a horrible father. Because, like, if I... <laughs> no. No, there that's bunch, not why. There's, no, no, there's a bunch of reasons Because I would... Why. First off, I would make my kid do all the sports so I could live vicariously through them. Right. Okay. Second, I don't care. If my kid went four for five and hit four home runs, I'd be like, you struck out in the third. Yeah, what the fuck was the third? <laughs> what was that shit? Yeah. Like, on four pitches. He's like Tiger Woods' dad. Yeah. Looking. You fucking struck out looking. Yeah. God, that'd be funny. Yeah, that's though. why I'd be a horrible, and, and then plus the beatings. Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean. <laughs> yeah. With a belt. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, yeah. That is not good. It hurts. Oh, yes, Especially it Especially when you wrap it in barbed wire. Oh, <laughs> well, Christ. that might take it to another level. Yeah. Uh, all right, well. We call that an extreme ass whooping. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, Derek, do you want to go or you want me to go? I can go. That's fine. Yeah, go for it. That's uh, fine. I haven't been on in a couple weeks. Yeah. Uh, so I've done uh, some things. Yeah. Uh, I went to a Marine Corps birthday celebration. I bet you that was lit as fuck. It was different. Uh-huh. Um, it was, first off, it was pouring down fucking rain. Yeah. And it was kind of funny because, like, the dude that walked in in front of me, huge fucking beard. Probably the coolest fucking beard I've ever seen, let's be honest. Okay. And uh, they're like, hey, you've got, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Okay. okay. Uh, he's... <laughs> They had like raffle prizes and stuff uh, that people had, like companies had donated and things like that. And one of the things when I went to go look at check out the raffle table, see if I wanted to buy raffle tickets, uh, was beard oil, oh. like a beard like conditioning kit. And mm -hmm. the guy that walked in in front of me was standing there looking. I was like, "That's what you need right there." <laughs> I don't even know who this fucking guy is. Sure. That's what I said. And he's like, "Right, yeah." And then he fucking won it. Yeah, <laughs> like, had a kid. And I was like, yes, I called that shit. My Ooh. favorite was they had a big like a uh, patio umbrella mm -hmm. like they have. You'll see it at like bars and shit outside. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or and it was like a or Budweiser. On, uh, or like Hillbilly's Porches. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, right. It was like a Budweiser Folds of Honor one. And the chick that won it was sitting at the table next to us. And it was my favorite reaction to somebody winning something. Because it's everybody like hooting and hollering and yelling. She gets it. And she's like, yeah. And then I hear her go, what the fuck am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> and then they managed. Fucking kudos to her. Because they managed to get that in a Buick Encore. <laughs> I oh, mean, fuck. we are edge to edge. <laughs> That's like, good. Yeah, di they got it in there. Right. And then uh, I think my fa they had a, a big, like a birthday, Marine birthday cake. Mm -hmm. And I was looking at Katie, and I was like, oh, man, please cut that with the sword. <laughs> that would have been dope. Please yeah. fucking cut that with the sword. Bayonet, motherfucker. That was a sword, the Marine sword. Oh. And they did. They did? <laughs> yes. That's fucking awesome. Oh, I was fucking elated. And... Uh, let me let me break something down. When I grew up, I, I hung out with with a, a group of Marines. Uh -huh. uh, I actually went. Me too. <laughs> I went. I actually went to Lejeune to visit them oh, yeah. uh, on base. It was awesome. Mm, that um, hot. Uh, it was kind of warm, but not not bad. Um, those are different fucking people, man. The, they they're oh. they're mental like uh, Steve, bro. No, no, no. It's way different than that. It's it's a whole level of I'm gonna kill you that that you just. You know, it's just one of those things. They're badasses. Love them. They're still friends with them to, the, to this day. So anyway, I'm sorry. Are I, I would go. Are again. they black? Uh, one of them is. Mm. Okay. Well, I would go do that again. I had. A, I did have a good time. Uh, it was very like dressed up type thing. So mm. I was probably dressed shittier than most. Because <laughs> uh, that's what you wore. Yeah, but at least no. I wore my. Yeah. I wore my work clothes. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, you're fine. Then you're no, you're fine. I, no, I wouldn't. Uh, no, so, no, I wouldn't. But uh, I was laughing because afterwards they had like a DJ and they were dancing and shit. And uh, my favorite thing, <laughs> the DJ makes an announcement and they were like, if anybody has left or dropped a commemorative, like an Abraham Lincoln coin, it's behind the bar. And I'm like, 
that's a penny. <laughs> I was like, I was like, finding a penny is like good luck, but finding the rightful owner of a penny, a penny? that could be. That's got to be like amazing luck because that's honest and Abe would approve. Uh, that's that's right. That. That's yeah. true. So Where'd I was going? super pumped about that. Yeah. And then uh, the following day, we went to a Pando initiative, like charity dinner. I went to for work. Like, like what? It's a, it's a like pa- a it's called Pando Initiative. I guess it's like do they some, have do, are they like dudes that like little kids? No, that's pedo. That's, oh, yeah. My bad. I would have seen you there if that was. <laughs> um, I was just gonna. I was just gonna say. Sorry. I need to go check the mail. I need to get my invitation. <laughs> But what they had Jeez. was a bunch of different, like, I know they had the fire department, sheriff's department. They had a, a school. The wind surge were there. <laughs> they had, like, all these different businesses, and they would make a dish, and mm-hmm. then you get, like, a little sample of it, and then you vote for whoever had the best dish, and oh, then okay. they had auctions and stuff like that. And I thought that you were supposed to eat and try everything, <laughs> and I felt like <laughs> shit. <laughs> Because even though it's little bits, I mean, t- like a spoonful of something. Oh, yeah. Uh, 97 spoonfuls yeah, right. of something. <laughs> oh, I felt like shit. And then my favorite part of that was the auction that they had. Because uh, there were two things that they had that I was like, everything went stupid, ridiculous, like thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. It was all just experiences. But uh, one of them was Chiefs tickets. And it was like, you could sit 13 rows up. And they're like, we'll start the bidding at $2,000. Do I hear $2,000? And a guy's like, Here. All right, 2500 2500 2300 2200 and, and sold for $2,000. I'd have been like, fuck, if I was the guy that bid on that, I could have yeah. got that cheaper. Oh, man. Yeah. And then they had, uh, it was two nights in New Orleans in like a Cajun cooking class, and you had to pay for your airfare. Oh. And they started it at like 25. They went down to 2000 and then they were just like, all right, well, if anybody is interested oh. in that, see us after the show. They didn't like lower it. There was a reserve. Ah, oh, no, no, thank you. So yeah. Yeah, I'm out. did that. Uh, and then I had a really sketchy Facebook marketplace purchase. Oh, did you? Um, we are actually kind of famous for those on this show. I, uh, I, I kind of like old sports illustrated, like pending on what the cover is. <laughs> depending on which sw- which swimsuit issue it is. When, <laughs> Rachel Hunter. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <sighs> they had one where it was the sports illustrated where they did a deal like with WWF back in the 80s. It was called Matt Mania and it was Hulk Hogan on the cover. That'd be a good one. And uh, for I, you. it showed up on Facebook Marketplace for six bucks. And I'm like. All right, fuck it for six bucks. Yeah. So I messaged the guy and he took like two hours to respond. And he finally responds and he's like, yeah, I still have it. And I'm like, okay, I'll take it. When, you know, when do you want to meet? And then nothing for like another two hours. And he's like, I can meet tomorrow after I said, okay, I can meet after five. He's like five 30. I said, okay, where (laughs) do you want to meet? (laughs) And he, I said, I live out West. Where do you live? He's like South. I'm like, okay. So I'm thinking, what's kind of central? I was like, how about quick trip at Maple and West? And he's like, okay. And so then I was like, what kind of car are you going to be in? And he said, uh, Acura. And I'm like, okay, this is fucking weird. <laughs> so then I pull his Facebook profile up and I look at his marketplace profile and he's selling that magazine, an Ebony magazine for like six bucks, and then an $800 camera. And I'm like... What the fuck? And he's got like four Facebook friends, and his profile is just the gray silhouette thing. Oh, you're God. about and to I'm, get raw, yeah, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. For he's like six for bucks. Your six bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I fucking lock my billfold in the glove compartment. I only have six bucks. I pull up, and I pull into Quick Trip. Oh shit! I knocked over the Super Bowl trophy for you. My uh, bad. I, I pull up and I didn't even realize it. I didn't, wasn't even thinking. There's a homeless guy out front of Quick Trip having an argument with himself. You sure that wasn't him? <laughs> no, it wasn't him. Oh, Damn. My God. He, he's sitting down having an argument with himself. And I pull up right in front of him, not thinking. And I have fucking like the automatic headlights. So I'm just blasting him right <laughs> yeah. in the goddamn eyes with yeah. my fucking headlights. That's good. And uh, it ended up going smooth. He's like, you can check it out if you want. I'm like, it's six bucks. Yeah. yeah, man. So, and then I ended up, I did go to the bar and had a couple of beers and too many and then bought a $400 Sports Illustrated. Oh, so, wait, oh way to wow. go. Jordan's first cover. So, oh, I see. I see. See, CJP, he's just man, dominating people, you in life. In, it just crushing crazy, it. Just dude. Crushing it. 
Dude, mm-hmm. that's crazy. Yeah, I wish I had. I did Well, to I thought it was two eighty seven. Magazine. Yeah. I thought it was two eighty seven, and then buyer's premium, and then tax, and then shipping, and fuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I more felt, than that, I felt like shit, <laughs> and I had should. to tell the wife. Oh, how'd that go? I think she actually knew that I had remorse. <laughs> <laughs> I because I did so good. I one hundred percent as good did. as it possibly could have gone. We, like if it's a couple hundred bucks, I usually don't say much about it. But if it's like over about three hundred dollars, and I'm like, all right, we need to have a conversation. So we had sim- similar weeks. If you're done, I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Finally. Yeah. So you know how you Amen. you said you went to the the thing that you were kept on taking spoonfuls of yeah. food and shit. Yeah. Okay, I did that too, only not with food. Dicks. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, That's called a game. That would have been me. That would have been JP. <laughs> ah. No, I got invited over to a, a listener and a friend of mine's house uh, to watch UFC fights, and uh, his name's Keith Litsky. And the main uh, reason why he invited me over is because he knows now that I'm I'm really getting into bourbon. A lot of you guys know that probably already now as well. And uh, he he God, had a buddy that was going to k- bu- shut up. A buddy that was coming over with him that was bringing some like high dollar stuff that he that he wa- he had and he wanted me to try. And I'm like, okay, fuck yeah, I'm all into that. Well, I uh, I didn't. I wasn't smart about it. We'll just put it that way. I decided to do <laughs> I a bourbon. I started shooting shit. No, I, it started here. I thought it would be a cool <clears throat> idea to do like a bourbon tasting on TikTok Live just to do something different and actually try like four different um, bourbons that I just got and see which one I liked more than the other. So I did that on Saturday around one. I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah. Uh, and then one. P- PM, right? Yeah, PM, no, yes. AM. Yeah, one, yeah. one AM would have been funner. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I agree. Yeah. You should have started then. That's usually when I start my bourbon tasting is <laughs> one AM. I'm uh, like, fucking Kentucky, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> this is my seventh. It just keeps getting better. Man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. See, they have bad. He's well, so, a gentleman. So then I go over to uh, Keith's house, and I, f- I feel fine. But whenever you have somebody who's offering you taste of all kinds of bourbon that you've never tasted before, it doesn't really hit you in the head of like, hey, dude, maybe this is uh, not a good idea. Let's you mix just, all this shit together. Let's slow it down and... a smidge. So uh, rightfully so, my wife noticed that I was getting a little too tipsy. And uh, we needed to go home. So I even missed the, fi- the the last couple of fights and went home. And sorry, had a great time. Tried some really good shit. But next time you get to pace yourself. Yeah. Right? That's the whole Correct. deal. So that's what I felt. I felt like shit the next day, too. So there's that. I was just like a spoonful shit. at a time. But yeah, but I felt like shit that after night. 96 spoonfuls. Yeah, there it says. It's, there, it's just a, yeah. it's just in a Glencairn glass yeah, and it's not you. very much. You just no, want to taste you. it. But guess yeah, what? Yeah. I'm a little guy. Um, but then the other thing I was talking about was I was also looking for a new purchase of a particular firearm. There's two that I've been looking at and they're, um, God, I need to is it a rubber a band gun? job? No, no, they're both, they're both 2011. So it's a 1911 model that it shoots nine millimeter. Oh, that's really old. You should get a newer one. Uh, you should get like a 2024. <laughs> no. Uh, so I had two that I was looking into and, uh, I went to the gun store. <laughs> the 2025s will be out soon. Yeah. No, no, no they won't. <laughs> Um, but I went to the gun store with my brother, not with my wife, because I knew that if I made such a purchase, uh, I, I might be in the doghouse. So I didn't make it. I decided against it. They didn't have the one, the one that I wanted. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd have made the purchase. I would have. Right. Don't <laughs> act like, dude. Don't act like you held but any restraint. I back. did. I, you just didn't did. buy it because they didn't have the one you wanted. The other one was there. Yeah, but that doesn't mean the yeah. other one was there. Right. I and I decided. No. Good be, job. Be smart. Just She's going to be so like, do you promise you're not going to take it into yeah. the school? And <laughs> yeah. you're going to be like, I promise. <laughs> no. No. Uh, so I didn't. But but yeah, same thing. I'd have been in the doghouse, decided not to be in the doghouse. You did, on the other hand. So yeah, wait, yeah I, I'm fucking owning it, man. Uh, but yeah, then, then I, I guess on Twitter, uh, they asked, uh, Wyatt Carmichael asked me a question and said, how many bottles of bourbon do you have now? Well, if you go to our, uh, oh, no. if you go to our X account, there's a picture of my corner. Yeah, so, man. I noticed your follow corner us when I came in at, uh, LOT sidelines on X. There you go. Have uh, you can actually take a picture of it. You got to guess which one I put X lax in. Oh no, that's going to be a rough evening. Uh huh. Mm. No, thank you. Uh, but Derek, there was, uh, and a, I roofied one. Oh, 
That might actually if be you, fun. What if it's the same bottle? Right. <laughs> right. That's what I was just getting ready to say, man. Hey, get the fuck out of my head, man. I said, unfortunately, it's the same bottle, so yeah. you're going to shit sleep your, You're going to sleep shit yourself. He's like nature's lube. Can you yeah. imagine how pissed off my wife would be in the middle of the night? <laughs> Oh, God. That would be really funny, though. He won't wake up, but I think he just lost nine pounds. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, shit. All right. Uh, But there was... uh, We had corn three weeks ago. (laughs) Oh, God. That's gross. Uh, Connor Nerzerka actually had a question specifically for Derek, and he wanted to know what album are you more excited for, Ice Cube's Man Down album or Snoop's Missionary album? Um, Ice Cube. You're an Ice Cube. Yeah, I like Snoop, but Snoop's made some albums where I'm like, meh. Yeah. And... uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I like pretty much everything Ice Cube's done. I so. know. Yeah. If, if I kind of knew the answer to that question, but I wanted Derek to tell you guys because there's that. Um, I, I had a question that I found today scrolling through Facebook I wanted to talk about. Okay. And I think it's fucking, a, I think it's a really good question. Okay. Well, then we and definitely don't have it on the sheet. It's a very, it's a. Right. Probably. Th- there's a page I follow called I Love Science. And somebody had asked, uh, is my poop already poo shaped naturally? Or is my butthole more like a dough shaker? <laughs> <laughs> like a Play-Doh Fun Factory. Right. And I was like, holy fuck, what a Bro. great question. So they answered. Hang on. They answered. The a scientist the, answered. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but at least the, I think it's a scientist. Their name is Real <laughs> Steak Bouncer. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> For sure scientist. Right. Yeah. I think this is from Reddit. But it says, uh, endoscopy nurse here. Your entire large large bowel is basically a soft tube. So the turds, which start out as a liquid, <laughs> gradually harden into that tube shape as the bowel absorbs water. The bowel is wider than your asshole, unless you're JP. Uh, so it is squeezed Thank a bit. You. It is squeezed a bit thinner on the way out, but still retains basically the same shape. If you want to know how much thicker the turd is before it comes out, just hold it in a bit longer. <laughs> As your bowel absorbs more of the bog fluids, the turd will harden more until your butthole can no longer compress it on the way out. The turd will maintain its original shape as your gaping rectum is painfully stretched open to accommodate the now dry, rock-hard dump. I thought that was fantastic. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Co- yeah. Comedians just dick and poop jokes. It, I, it, it nails every it time. It reminded yeah, me of awesome. like like whatever your frost, uh, like piping frosting, like yeah, where it's right, in the bag. Right, and then right, it's right. like, oh, yeah. I think that's what you're at unless you fucking let it sit and then you shit a potato. So, <laughs> dude, I think... I think I just came up with an idea that's going to make us a lot of money. Oh, no. Are you going to put a cookie cutter in your butthole? I am. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dude, it's like the Play-Doh Fun Factory. <laughs> Dude, we could totally come up with fucking, yeah. <laughs> cookie cutter butt plugs. Yeah, dude, oh cookie my. cutter butt plugs. Uh. Come on, man. Who doesn't want one of those? I want one. <laughs> I, I want fun. They've got to make them. They have to. No, well, they're going to, I'm going to make them. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. No. Is oh, that going to be, be our, rich, they're going to say dude. laughing on the sidelines. Uh, yeah. It's going to shit out sure. letters. Absolutely. It's just going to be Scotty's face. <laughs> Uh, at least I'll get my face on something. There you go. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't already, uh, <laughs> do us a favor. Do us a favor. Uh, we uh, depend on you guys to support the show, and you do that by leaving us a like, leaving us a comment. If you have any questions about the show, you're more than welcome to put them in there. <laughs> or, or like that. Do you love That's cookies? <laughs> do you love butt plugs? Let us know. Well, then we got a good deal for you. Let us know if uh, apparently butt cookie cutters is a good oh, dude, idea. dude, that's a great idea. I hope the guy that ans- answered and asked now that question gonna listened. Now someone's going to steal it. <laughs> I'm sure he does. Now someone's going to steal it. Possibly. God dang it. Uh, but yes, uh, do us a favor if you're not already, already subscribed, and uh, do us a favor, tell a friend. Uh, now we can move on to the hot topics uh, for this stab week. You. No, don't do that. Don't do it. They are actually hot this week. Here. Here's an extra pen. That one doesn't work, so it's perfect. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> nah. Uh, no, but we do got some uh, some stuff to talk about this week. I, I, I didn't do it. Uh, but the first thing I'm going to kick off with was something that only Keith Litsky would actually tell me about. So I got to give him credit for this. I show up to his house on Saturday to watch the UFC fight. And he is really excited about this. Um, I think it's V Sports, but it's V-I-I. And That's it's- seven. Uh, I'm sorry, V I I I. Oh, that's eight. Because it's on the Ocho. Okay. Right? It was the whole Ocho weekend thing. 
And they apparently had a sports national championship 2024 thing where it's the ordinary Olympics. So the events are like shooting a basketball, like playing, like, shooting a short shot and backing all the way up, throwing a softball, hitting a golf ball, like just the stupid events that are basic, right? Well, Rachel Runda and Scott Hill. I know Scott. Won it. Yeah. And both of them are from yeah. the Wichita area. So cool. congratulations and get bodied from Wichita, Kansas. Actually, Give him a shout out. He's actually, also a Cardinal fan, by the way. And, and a Packers fan. So really, Scott can <laughs> fuck right yeah, off. Fuck you, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is he really? Yeah. He looked familiar. Yeah. He's uh Stan knows him. Okay. He's one of Stan's okay. buddies. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, if he's a friend of Stan's. Yeah, that makes sense. Now he's kind he of a must be, He must Probably. be all right. Well, I mean, he's a good dude I other than his, his fandom. His fandom? Yeah, okay, yeah. That's yeah. that makes him a real piece of shit. But I guess it's like, like 10,000 YMCAs have like tryouts to see if they pick you. So and I guess it's kind of cool. But you know sure. what's cooler? What? When in Wichita's funniest person twice. <laughs> yeah. Eat that's that, cool. Scott there Hill. You there you go. Uh, anyways, now we're going to move on. Uh, obviously, we're going to do the UFC first. John Jones defeats Stipe Miocic. Uh, he is, in my opinion, the best pound for pound fighter of all time. I am now putting him over Anderson Silva uh, because he is still kicking ass. And, and yeah, I think he's probably the best pound for pound fighter ever. Anybody watch UFC no. in here? I didn't think so. There's that. Now. I think Andre the Giant was the best. I agree. Yeah, he was pretty good. He was pretty badass. Yeah, yeah. It'd be, he'd be tough to hit. There's a great story I heard about him with the Ultimate Warrior. What, what was it? I guess he fucking hated working with him. because and, Ultimate uh, Warrior hated him? Or? No, Andre, no, Andre the Giant hated, hated Ultimate him. Warrior. Okay. And he would like, because he's just so over the fucking top and he wouldn't listen to him. He was coked out. And Yeah, coked out as well. And so one day, like they were, they'd been working together on the road. And then uh, at one point, finally, when he was running, uh, Andre just put his fist up and the Warrior ran right into his fucking fist. <laughs> And, go, and then they asked him, or he didn't, or somebody asked somebody, he's like, he's learning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and move to the other combat sport, sort of, that happened over this weekend. And that is the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul on Buffer Flicks, because you sure as shit had trouble watching it. I don't know if you did. I watched it, but I, had to watch, I didn't watch it on Netflix. Oh, I have no. Netflix, but I streamed it illegally. Well, it was, and it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you, you, for it all. you were smart. Yeah. Um, that was the most frustrating situation I've ever Dude, watched, witnessed. It was uh, crazy, both, right? Both, situa- both reasons, because every fucking couple of minutes, it would just start buffering. Oh, well, you did better than buffering. us then. Why? It didn't even, we never could get it. We ended up fucking having to, it would work on the phone. Mm-hmm. But not on the TV. Yeah. So there are, there are fucking <laughs> six of us huddled around in the garage, huddled around a phone. <laughs> fucking what? Yeah, man. It was bad. Yeah. It was really bad. So, you know what's even better is probably not watching it. Um, oh, God. That's the other thing is uh, now, granted, I know Mike Tyson's 58 years old. I get that. Um, but my question is do you think it was staged? I think he's got a clause in that. For sure. To not. You can't fucking, if you knock me out, you don't get shit. Or you get fucking a fraction. Dude, um, it, the, it was supposed to be a decision the whole time. Yeah. It was Jake Paul saying, man, I I know that if we do this, we're going to make X amount of dollars. Mm-hmm. You're one of my fucking idols. Here's $20 million. All we got to do is step in the ring and spar. We'll go eight rounds or whatever <laughs> it is. We'll go two-minute rounds. It'll be 14 ounce know, gloves. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We'll hit each other a couple times, and you know you'll come out of fucking retirement. It'll be glorious, and we're gonna. I mean, it was all yeah. If you it was, it was that, staged, but it was staged well. No, no. if you look at his training videos, no. at Tyson's Dude, training videos compared to what was in the he ring, he didn't try. Neither one of them were really trying. The first right hand that he laid it on was Paul bullshit. was good. Eh. It was uh, he. He looked like he was hit, he hit him hard. Yeah, but then everything he else was just he like up. Yeah. I, he he hit him and he just wanted him to know. Look, I that's can, what I'm capable. I this is what I'm capable of. Now let's do what we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. I agree. There um, were some places where he had some wide open shots, and, and he, he did take, take, take them. He'd seem just go. Argh. Dude, yeah. at the end when he fucking did his little bow and all that, ah. dude. Tyson, 25 years ago, would have knocked, knocked that, that motherfucker, motherfucker through the ceiling, bro. Sure would have. 
But uh, yeah, sure it was would've. definitely set up, man. It was definitely a, <clears throat> a money grab. It was definitely, but like, here's the funny thing too. What the the women's fight was fucking amazing. There the you, women's fight was great. Go. So was the fight before that. Yeah, the fight the, before the dude, before the, the women's fight was good, was good yeah. too. Yeah, that was a draw. But the, the women, decision, dude. Yeah, yeah but for women's boxing, that probably made a a big. I it think was a big deal for women's boxing to be on that stage, to yeah. be on that level. That's awesome. And everybody got to watch it because yeah, yeah, it, didn't, yeah. it wasn't buffering through that right. because nobody cared. Well, we were on our... No, it was buffering all through the whole thing Oh, for you, us. Guys, you guys... That Dude, sucks. here's how bad the picture was when I got there. They were actually watching it on the TV when I got there, and it was kept doing the buffering thing or whatever. I thought it, the first guy was Post Malone. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, yeah. I yeah. was like, what the fuck? I didn't know Post Malone was fighting. They were like, that's not Post Malone. Yeah, it took you... Yeah. It yeah, took you back to Mike Tunch's, or yeah. Mike Tyson's punch yeah, out is what yeah. it looked like. It was, it was grainy graphics, as uh, fuck. Uh, I think I was just really glad to hear Rosie Perez's perspective. Oh my on god, dude! What were they thinking there? Because I mean, that was that was fantastic. I, mean, oh. I don't. I didn't have a problem with Cedric the Entertainer though. No, he was all right. I, I, except I, li- for, I like Seth. Yeah, he really, he was really concerned about Mike Tyson's legs. <laughs> he was. <laughs> well, so was very, Roy Jones and Roy Jr. Jones Jr. They were both very concerned so was about I. the legs. It, that that was what uh, I noticed. Was it, it? It was just like, God dang it! He just uh, he, he looked he looked old to me. But yeah, he's fifty eight. Jesus, he, I know. But I still think that if he would have fucking swung at him, he would have he'd have knocked him over. And the slap at the weigh-ins? Yeah, that was all bullshit, too. Um, well, the whole thing was, and a lot of people aren't talking about it, it's not just because he got into his face. He stepped on Mike's foot. Yeah, he stepped on his he foot. He stepped on his toe, and yeah. Mike was in socks, right. and he was in shoes. The highlight right. of that fight was Mike's bare ass. Dude, 100%. <laughs> and the only part before the main fight that didn't buffer. Like... Was that what was his it just came up? Boom. They have to make a yeah, meme. Yeah, dude, that was of, awesome. You know the meme they have where the guy's like walking and turns around, the girl's like looking at the guy as yeah. he's looking back. They got to have Mike Tyson yeah, facing the other way right. and huh. make that a fucking meme. Okay. That, that would, would be, be that hilarious. Would, that would be good. Uh, you should do that, Derek. You I make, don't know how to do that. You stuff. make you make memes. No, I don't. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Uh, all I right. make my parents disappointed. That's what yeah. I mean. That's true. Amen, brother. Yeah. Um, I guess we're going to move on to the NFL. Uh, I wanted to bring this up because I'm curious to hear, to hear what you guys have to say about it. First of all, I'm a Lions fan. The Lions ended up blowing out the Jaguars 52-6. to six, Okay? Now, this is the second straight game the Lions have held the opposing team to zero points in the second half. So defense, doing pretty good. It was also the Jaguars. So right. you, you know what I'm saying? Let's not get crazy. But here's the other thing. Uh, the Lions have played the Jaguars. Uh, they played them two years ago. Okay, so in the last eight quarters that they have played, the Lions would currently be leave, leading ninety-two to twenty and have not punted in two straight games playing the Jacks. Um, the starters also didn't get pulled until like the fucking fourth quarter. Yeah. So if that was the Bears, <clears throat> they'd have left them in the whole time. They, uh, yeah, probably. they would have never pulled them. Do you think that this is unacceptable for if you're blowing a team out to to let up? No, or run it up. No, fucking run it up. All Don't right. like it? Stop it. Yeah. I'm just making sure I'm not. You're a professional athlete. This is what you do for a fucking job. Yeah. If you're not good at it, I we're going to let the country know. I agree. I guarantee that when those guys were in high school playing some of those teams, oh, I guarantee yeah, they... there were fucking scores worse than yeah, that. Right. I, I agree. I agree. I, I, I think it was even in the locker room. They were saying the same thing. Hey, if you don't like it. Play better, especially uh, when you got guys that are getting performance bonuses and things like that. Oh, I got to have, point. I got to hit this many yards, and, and then I get an extra million dollars, yeah. and I got to have this many catches. I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's a good point. Especially whenever you're, whenever you got guys getting bonuses, you want them to get those bonuses, and so do the right thing and help them out. So that's awesome. That's a good point, Derek. Um, and while we're going down the, uh, you know, the NFL thing, the Green Bay Packers end up beating the Chicago Bears on a last second field goal block. How do you feel about that, Derek? Yeah, go fuck yourself, Scott. <laughs> Both <laughs> Scots can go fuck themselves. <laughs> I, dude. Um, I, at the end of the game, I think it was the loudest I've ever yelled fuck yeah. in my life. And my wife just went upstairs. <laughs> she comes down like two hours later and I'm like, what, what are you doing? She's like, I wanted to get away from you. Mm-hmm. Like, Good uh, call. You yeah. were very Excellent angry. idea. 
because I also punched some stuff and oh yeah. Uh, do you have any sheetrock that needs to be redone? Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, but that's from when I was hanging stuff up. Uh, <laughs> okay. yeah, that has nothing to do. Yeah, that, that, those are two separate instances. What do but, you uh, What do you hit whenever you're pissed? The, the dog. couch? No, that recliner. <laughs> Wrigley. Yeah. The Wrigley. Yeah. Oh, we miss her. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> nah, I was fucking knocking the shit out of the recliner. Oh, yeah. That's um, good, but, way, good yep. way to get your anger out, you know? Oh, man, was I fucking pissed. Well, and not surprised. Because, like, as it was happening, I wasn't like, oh, we got it. Yeah. I was like... This is pro. This could be bad. Unfortunately, Katie was sitting in the recliner at the time. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, though he that, that fucking dude pushed off of the, the pushed him down. He pushed off the lineman, the defender that blocked it, mm-hmm. which we got a penalty for that the week before. <laughs> and uh, some, I think McAfee or something said that they blew the center up or some or the long snapper or whatever. I don't know that part, but I did see that the guy pushed down. You're not supposed to. Be able to elevate Leverage. yourself, which I yeah. think is kind of stupid. I did too. But I just didn't like that we got called for it the week before, and then this week they're like, man, it's fine. <laughs> Especially when you're playing the Packers. I fucking had, Dude, I don't want to win a game the rest of the year. Hey, man. <laughs> Except those two. <laughs> Which we're probably not going to win a game the rest of the year, but I don't know. I, I do. I do have to say, especially the NFC North, I think that's the best division in football, and that's all we play. I know. Plus for the rest of the Seattle and San Fran. I know, uh, but. I got to say, I, I, I really did not think that the Bears were going to be as good as they are right now. I don't think, I, I really don't think you're you're great by any means. No, we have Matt fucking Eberflus as the coach. Right. Who I've hated since day one. Who is probably going to get fired by the end of the year. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept him. I don't think so. I don't think Eberflus, so either. Eberflus, Eberflus, Eberflus. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I no, said that's when you want like him to some, show up. Oh, yeah. I say it sounds like something Daffy says, like if he stubs his toe, like Eberflus. <laughs> 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 but to end it on a good note, this the Broncos. One, this, oh, no. Actually, you go ahead because the, Bron- yeah, the Broncos. Yeah, how about Bo Nix, man? He looks what good. What I tell you last week? He looks good. He's improving. You guys said he looks okay. I th- Dude, no, I know. He looks, looks good. good, man. I think he looks good. He I'm looks, not going to say great, no, but he looks good. He looks real good. I'm super excited to see. You guys got a good happens. quarterback. Thank and God. Congratulations. So good Thank for you. Thank God. But to end it on a very happy note for all three of us. Yes. God bless the Buffalo Bills. Amen. In the Kansas City Chiefs undefeated season. Dude, they could easily <sighs> have lost all but like Thank two God. games. The Chiefs were the, the worst Chiefs 9-0 are, yeah, team. Yeah, dude, for real. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they were still 9-0, man. The refs gave them two. That's true. They were a toenail away from three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, and uh, they blocked a field goal to win their four. That, so yeah. there's four. Yeah, so they're a five and four team. I don't know if they're five and four, but they. Uh, I don't think this is the 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 year they go to the Super Bowl. I just I don't know. It's a pretty good script for a three peat there. I uh, I don't think the script is going to happen that way. They the AFC. But you always, so you're saying there's will, a script? Uh oh yeah. Yeah, no, I follow. All, I follow finally, Derek. Yeah. You said you're okay. starting Derek's to come good. around. You, you did yeah. tell me that. You, yeah. I have a text that says that. No, I just, <laughs> I just think from you. I think that officials need to be given less control over the outcomes of games. But it's, then that wouldn't follow their narrative. Yeah, they want them to control the game. No, I think that honestly, though, I think the AFC is better than the NFC. I think no, that, I, I do. I really do. I think the AFC is better than the NFC. I think, like, especially when you get to the Bills, the Chiefs. Uh, I mean, the Ravens shocked the shit out of me, but uh, but the other thing is, is the fucking Steelers are are shocking the shit out of me, and I hate the Steelers, but hey, they're, man. they're doing <sighs> great, and I don't understand it. You've got Russell Wilson and Justin Fields, and it's just like, what the fuck? So we'll see. I, out, of, out of the NFC, who's who's the really good teams? And and I will say Detroit, but. It's it's still a th- weird thing for me after losing to uh, Tampa Bay at the beginning of the season. Detroit, San Francisco, San Francisco's uh, been kind of kind of. Eh. They've been hurt. Mm-hmm. But Detroit, San Francisco, um, yeah, Minnesota, Dallas. I'm not gonna say the yeah, other right. fucking team. Washington. Uh, yeah, I mean yeah. Washington's. Uh, we'll find Philadelphia. out. Philadelphia. Yeah. We'll find out. We'll find out this week because they week go. Will be tough. Well, actually, I take that back because you end up having. Um, uh, Dak, Dak's out. So now they're playing with Cooper Rush, and uh, yeah. So um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. What do you think is going to happen? I think I think Washington will win. They'll destroy him. I don't know if they'll destroy him. Dude, but they'll destroy. I'm them. counting on him to destroy him. My fantasy team's counting on them to destroy, destroy him. Destroy him. 
But anyways, but that is this week's hot topics. Uh, so yeah, all the fun, fun in the sun. Um, now I, I feel like we should be done. I know. I agree. Okay, let's just walk out. All okay. right. All right. Uh, keep laughing, asshole. No. <sighs> anyways, oh, you guys were kidding. I was kidding. We can't do that. Uh, we got overrated or underrated for this week. Uh, we're going to move right along. Um, and again, thank you for all of you guys who uh, participated in this week's uh, questions and all of that other stuff. They're, they're, they're slim pickings this week, but we're going to do it for you anyway. Uh, kick this off with Jeff Friedman. He wants to know, overrated or underrated frozen microwave dinners? you kidding me? That's how I got this fucking rockin' bod. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and that the other thing is, is if it, those things didn't exist you would probably starve. And I wouldn't have Thanksgiving. Because exactly. Yeah. You're going to I'm Scotty's this year for Thanksgiving. No. No, I'm in, I'm in Western Kansas this year. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. bringing JP. I would. No. There you go. My family would, would probably not uh, allow allow him in. Oh, no? No. Why? It's not like he's because black. Because I'm, yeah, I was like, um, I'm not going in blackface. <laughs> oh, my God. No, of course they would let you in. My family's cool. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. They must be. Yeah, look. That only makes sense. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah right. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Uh, next one comes in from Jake Dubrovkak. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, starting a sports comedy podcast. God damn, is that overrated. <laughs> don't do it. Don't. <laughs> and don't continue to do it for years. Years. We actually are coming up on six years of doing this show. Years. Oh, my God. JP, you're new. Yeah. You're I'm, new. I'm real new. Uh-huh. Yeah. Compared I'm to... shiny and new. The amount of commitment... Bright, shiny, new. Yeah. The amount of commitment that it takes. You're like a Dodge Neon, and JP. The, and the Dude, stress. What are you talking about, man? Do you think I don't have the commitment? Well, not as much. How do you as, figure that? As Derek has. How do you figure he, that? He's been here the whole time. He quit? No, he didn't. No, Jeremy quit. Jeremy quit. Yeah, well, Derek fucking. But, Jer- but Jeremy's been on the show probably. Yeah, more right. Often. That's what I'm saying. So I feel That's like. That's because Jeremy's better at it. <laughs> oh, no, don't say that. Right. I yes, he is. No. Jeremy is the goat. It In certain things, yes, it is underrated. We, we really do enjoy the show. We like hanging out with each other uh, and we're friends. That's the good part. The part of like staying up until two o'clock to edit everything together doesn't bother me a bit. Doesn't bother anybody <laughs> else a bit. It bothers the shit out of me though. Doesn't um, bother me a bit. And the other thing is, is if we were getting paid to do the show, I might actually pay somebody to like do it for us, so it's better quality. Um, but yeah, YouTube doesn't pay us, so there's that. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know overrated or underrated ring girls at a boxing match. Severely underrated. Holy fuck. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, that's the only good thing about that boxing match. A hundred percent agree. That overrated. was fan fucking tastic. I don't know who she was, but it was the blonde for me. Yep. Dear. I think it was the blonde God. for everyone. Oh, even JP got a boner. Probably. Mm, well, I mean, that was cause that was. Was Mike that the Tyson's Tyson? ass shot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, for a fucking 60-year-old dude, he's got some cakes. <laughs> Tell you what. Co- Kodiak cakes got nothing on Mike Tyson. Oh, dude, Jesus. The motherfuckers look like they're full of fucking protein. Uh, all right. Next one comes in from Taylor Hartley. Uh, he wants to know, overrated or underrated, nipple clamps. I'm going to go overrated. Depends. That's how I got kicked out of the dentist. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was, I mean, good. they handed him right to me <laughs> with a napkin to soak up the blood. And so I use them, and now all of a sudden I'm a problem, and I have to leave. Okay. Like, who's going to clean my teeth? Yeah, I know. I spent all day eating onions and Cheetos <laughs> for nothing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Um, I can honestly say I have never had them on my nipples before. And when I don't like it when my wife touches my nipples. I don't like it. Yeah. And the most embarrassing thing about this whole situation is I am, I'm not a hairy guy at all. I like I'm, that. I'm just, I'm sure you do. Um, but there, I don't have any chest hair. I don't have any back hair. Except nipple hair. 
I've got, got I look like a fucking man lantern. It only grows around my nipples, and and I mean like a thin ring. You're and you're gonna need to wax that. No, I just shave it every once in a while. Okay. So I just don't like. I don't like anybody touching my nipples. Okay. I fucking hate it. JP, I'm so terrified of your fucking answer. I say overrated. Thank God. Because I went and had an MRI once and forgot that I had them on. <laughs> and that motherfucking hurt. <laughs> that fucking hurt. <laughs> it hurt. Oh, Lord. Uh, all right. Uh, and last one comes in from Nolan. Uh, I think it's Cattermass. I'm so sorry. I, I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, but he wants to know, overrated or underrated, tattoos on your wiener? I think the only tattoo that would fit on my wiener is an I voted sticker. <laughs> <laughs> so fucking overrated. Yeah. I'm not, I don't have much real estate to work with. Yeah. Like I've heard of other people doing it and I was just like, why? That's a funny joke. One time. I say underrated. I'm sure you would. Because I have an O. Oh. But then it turns into the Audi rings. <laughs> it's pretty fucking dope. Oh my god, what the fuck? It's pretty cool. I don't think so. I have uh, a Jacob step ladder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. See? All right. Uh well ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's overrated or Mine underrated. looks like a snake. <laughs> yeah. Just stupid shit like that. Like why? Um but that was overrated or underrated. <laughs> the worst tattoo Damn is it. the fucking the mustache on the inside of the fingers so people can go that. That is the worst. My so buddy's tattooed. uncle has the the tip of his dick tattooed. There's a fl- he tattooed a fly on the tip of his dick, so you can smack it with a sword. No, because then he fucking tells people that he's Does got it, like at the bar or whatever. And uh-huh. They're like, no way or whatever. And he's got a big dick, so he fucking he's like, I'll show you. And he fucking he's like, he gets me laid all the time. Jesus, there's a skeeter on my Peter. Whack it off. Oh, I don't know about all that. Yeah, that's but. yeah thing. Uh, but now let's move on to that's where I draw the line. I could probably get a Skeeter tattooed on there. Oh, yeah. Or a fly. That's fly. about as big as it's going to get. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're going to kick this off with Keith Stuckey. He wants to know, at what point should someone be able to have a handicap placard or license plate? As soon as you're able. <laughs> <laughs> it's great parking. Or not able. No. Yeah. I think this is a legitimately good question. I think if it is something that you were like born with or have no control, you get a fucking placard. But if it is something that you did to yourself, <coughs> Derek, you don't get to have a handicapped parking what sticker I do because Dude, you're look, man, so not damn all fat. people are fat because they eat <laughs> shitty. Okay. I know, but some of, if some of it's you go genetic, to you man. go to a doctor and they, they say have a bad pancreas or something. They have a pituitary know. gland yeah, yeah, problem. Yeah, right. This is the biggest load of horse right. shit exactly. I've ever heard pituitary in my life. Gland. Pituitary gland you heard it is here fucked first, up. Folks. No, it's because you bury my. your face in muffins. Fuck face. Uh, yeah, that's that's how I feel. I do. I, I'm sure. I bury my face in muffins all I know. the time. But the thing is, look, you're skinny. Mm, you, you no, know. I am not. But especially I look like a pregnant woman. Like those people, it's like no. Park in a regular parking space. You need yeah. the walking. Okay, I knew you were gonna say. I knew this was coming down to See, being. Here's the thing. Yeah. With that, those assholes already got wheels. <laughs> so yeah, let the fat guy have the fucking close spot. You're already in a chair, sitting down, and you get a fucking <laughs> wow. drive up to the fucking entrance. Wow. Are you shitting me? Yeah, that's how a good lazy one. are you? Dude, that's a good <laughs> how one. How lazy? At least my fat ass is walking into the store. <laughs> that's true. I think that if you have wheels, then that sh- you shouldn't be allowed to park there. In that's the good back. Call. Get in the back. Good call. <laughs> That's fucking great. I'm sorry. That's good no, shit. I can't talk And that. nobody will door ding your van. Yeah, exactly. Because you have such a fucking huge one to, in order to have all of the handicapped stuff on it. Yeah, I agree. Um, all right. Uh, next one uh, is going to be coming in from Michael Bowerman. He wants to know, how often should someone have to retake the driver exam to renew your driver's license? Never. Fuck off. Never. Every year. Oh, never. Some people every six months. <laughs> it, it corresponds it with. It depends on if you're Asian or not. <laughs> <laughs> no, it corresponds with your number of tickets and accidents. I think that's fair. Anybody? No. I think never. 
Because I've seen some assholes that never get fucking pulled over that'll fly past me doing like 105 on Kellogg. Yeah. Or the guy that drives 50. You don't get pulled over for going under the speed limit. Yeah, I think that should be a they thing. Should, so, yeah, they I should think start pulling should people over I think over once that. a year, especially when you get old. Yeah, They I think, do hear your, your license is good for every six years, but once you hit a certain age, like I want to say it's like 65 or something like that, it's, like it's every, every four. Oh, every four? It's every four. Nah, we need, nah, we need to put but, that, we need to, put, we need to lower that Absolutely. Number. Every two. Every, every two. Yeah, every, at least every uh, two at worst. Okay. <laughs> but, every six months. But every, I like every year. I got to go year. into the fucking DAV again. Yeah, you hit 50 every year. Oh, 50. Fuck yeah. And I'm uh, 42. I'm creeping. But every goddamn year. <laughs> I think that's a little extensive. I'd, I'd say uh, I, I'd say when you hit 70, you, you need to go and get it get it more often. Oh, 70, you don't need to have it anymore. Uh, Well, for those of us who are going to live long, like longer lives, I think we'll be fine. Average life expectancy in the United States, 74. Okay. And guess what? All of my grandparents lived to see the age of like 90 plus. That's what, it, that's what they mean whenever you say the good die young and pricks live forever. That's, mm. that's, I'm the example of that. Um, all right. Next one comes in from Tommy Lesher. He wants to know how many times is too many times to jizz in the same sock? Who jizzes in a sock? <laughs> I guess it is the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> you want, hey, want to see my sock? No, <laughs> that's gross. But I guess uh, I know I got plans for stockings. Um, for the love of God, I never did that. That's always a running joke of like the har the hardened sock. sock. Yeah, I never did never that. did that. Never. If by sock you mean butthole, <laughs> then no limit. <laughs> but no, it, but we're masterpiece not. But if you mean like a literal sock, buy a fucking towel, man. <laughs> okay. I yeah. Uh, zero. If, yeah, if you're, I don't use a sock. If you're using a sock, you're not doing that's it not right. Good. That's that's bad. No. I can just just like the rash that you would get from that. Yeah, I don't think sock is a good jerking good. off into a sock. Something losers do. Yeah, I only that's, do it into that, my face. That's like carpet burns on your dick. That's, that's just that sounds plus, awful. Plus, why waste it? And then if you yeah. if yeah, you, you know, I just shoot it in my hand and then ah, ah. JP, <laughs> stop. <laughs> Self cleaning. No, that's if, disgusting. Oh. If you wear it, that'd be like Mathlete's foot. You're right. <laughs> <Mathlete's> foot. <laughs> that's good. Mm. All right. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know how long of a vacation is too long. Nope. You, Derek, Derek is over here saying it doesn't exist. <laughs> exactly. No, of course it doesn't. Uh, I, I mean, when you run out of money, money that's, that's that, it. That's it. When you run out of money, then you have to go back and make more money to go on another long vacation. Mm -hmm. That's uh yeah. That's the most depressing time in my life is whenever I get back from vacation, uh -huh. my first day back to work. And I'm like, I got at least a year. Yeah. Like, motherfucker. Yeah, dude. I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of with you. If I could, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying I want to be one of those tiny home people that like, like just travel the country in a fucking mm -hmm. I'd trailer. totally do that. You would? Fuck yeah, I would. Okay. All right. Some people could. I, I, I don't know. If I, I don't have anything I could. If I could work remote, dude, I'd sell my house, buy a van, and just fucking that's Live it. Live by the river. <laughs> live by that's the river. Right. Plug that. I am thrice divorced, <laughs> <laughs> and I live in a van down by the river. Yeah, you could probably pull it off. You have all your memorabilia in there with you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's got right. a fucking sick ass rap on yeah, it. Uh -huh. yeah. That's just all my shit. In fact, dude. that's actually what Derek does mobily is he sells memorabilia. That's there what he does. Go, dude. There you go. Might need to. Yep. Uh, and last one comes in from Thomas Paul Zeus Long. Jesus Christ. Wow. That's, that's, I don't know. That's not serial killer, but what is that? TPZLS. Wow. Too fucking long is what it is. Thomas Paul Zeus Long Sr. Wants to know, I mean, at least take the senior out. That's well, the fact that there's another one of these guys running around <laughs> is the part that scares me a little I bit. Know, right? Well, what, he does, what he does do is fuck. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he uh, fucks. Yeah, oh, obviously. he definitely does. Uh, no, he just added that to his name just so he could make it sound mm. like he did. Uh, but Tom, nah. <laughs> we're just gonna <laughs> Tom for short. <laughs> he wants to know at what point does PDA become too much? Okay, so that's public display of affection. Ah, not those little things you used to carry around, like electronic devices? Yeah. yeah. Nah, nah. Personal desk assistant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The old Palm Pilot. Yeah. I'm a, like, right into the sock. I, I don't know. Some guys like it in public, so. I, I know, but like to you, 
Like yeah. what? What grosses you out whenever you see? Like oh. I don't care. I don't care if they're straight, gay, or whatever. Chicks. But oh, sure. nobody wants to see you kiss your chick in public. Tonsil hockey is gross. Yeah. I don't give a fuck who you are. Quit it. Uh, it's always like those fucking like high schooler kids that like are like by themselves away from parents and they're just trying to do whatever they can and that's where you end up seeing it. So they're like walking down a Walmart aisle like by the milk, just tonsil hockey. It's fucking disgusting. I think what you do is you just stare at them like intently, like don't fucking break it. Like keep your stare on and then just while still staring, <laughs> reach down for your shoe. <laughs> Take your shoe off, <laughs> grab your sock, <laughs> hold it up, <laughs> and then start unzipping your pants. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, you're right. I don't think this is that's I, why that's where the sock comes in. Yeah. I get it now. Okay, all right. You do it in public. That's how you can do it, do it in the sock. I talked to a guy online once that wanted to meet at a store and fuck in the middle of the like in one of the aisles. No, is that a is that? Too much? Yeah, yeah, JP. Because I didn't much. go. It was too much. I, it depends. At a goodwill, I think you can it was, see that. He wanted I, to do it at a fucking at home. You know, I mean, they got a, furniture. Oh, pretty big store. Yeah, big store. Got plenty of furniture. Yeah. So, so. I mean, that, that's not. Compl- I, again, I was thinking you were talking about like Walmart, like in the middle of the no, no, grocery no, at like, home. Like in the Plus cereal nobody aisle. Nobody goes to that place. Yeah, that's true. So they got cameras. I think I you mean, should do it at a Burlington. Right. That's what I said, Burlington too. Burlington Coat Factory? Burlington. I think that happens a lot more than you think <laughs> at Burlington. <laughs> In the fucking dressing room. The uh, last coat I bought smelled awfully weird. I think past holding hands. If you hold hands in public, that's perfectly fine. If you do like a, like, like a peck, uh, if you're a straight couple, that's totally fine. Do so. What if it's... <laughs> yeah, fuck you, man. If you're a straight <laughs> Fuck yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> Or I, even, I think or, it's fine or even you're a straight the, couple. Now, in, in the lesbians, you guys can do as uh, much as you no. want. No. Yeah. I'm exactly the opposite. As I think much lesbians as you do. should be jailed immediately no. if they even touch each other. I'm not trying to see two dudes fingering each other. <laughs> That's, oh. Well, then don't look at that text I just sent you. <laughs> the lesbians also can't be over the weight of like two of like 150 pounds. Well, then you are going to be in big trouble. <laughs> That's why they get special uh, treatment and they can do whatever they want uh, all the pda you want okay. totally fine all right anyways ladies and gentlemen that's where we draw the line this week uh now we get to move on to questions oh my questions and preguntas i missed the button again to all of you guys who made suggestions thank you very much uh keep your eyes peeled every friday monday friday go onto those posts on all of our platforms leave comments of what you would like us to answer um I don't know how I can tell people anymore that they've already been answered before. So it's getting kind of tough, but if you have given us the same question three weeks in a row, it's because we've already done it. Okay. All right. First question comes in from Andrew Bingham. Uh, He wants to know what sponsorships would be the worst for the show. Uh, I think any sponsorship that we can get (laughs) that would allow me to make any amount of money. Let's go for it. <laughs> really? I, I don't even care. Okay, fine, JP. Trojan condoms. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yeah, you're, you're I a... eat them like conehead. <laughs> <laughs> I chew them like uh, bubble gum. That's absolutely disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the flavored ones are better. Oh, like the gas station ones? No, the flavored ones. Oh, you buy flavored condoms any like anywhere other than the gas stations? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. My mm. bad. Uh, okay. My bad. Um, I, uh, I don't really know, to be honest with you. I had something. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Snowboards. That'd be bad. That would be bad. We live in fucking Kansas and yes, I love them, but everybody else hates them. But they're giving us money. Well, how could that be bad? I mean, that's true. Cause they'd probably give me a free one so I could totally abuse that. But then you guys would never experience it. I guess so that's the, not the, fair. the Epstein foundation. Yeah, in, that'd be bad. In collaboration with P Diddy. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe we'd have to turn that one down. Yeah, that's probably as true. much as we would hate to do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. That's a bad joke. I'm <laughs> I, black lives matter. You know, we're all white guys. I think Crayola would be a bad one. <laughs> Crayola would Just not be good. Just because Scotty only likes yeah, one right. color. Yeah. I still have the Crayola. <laughs> the Scotty, the, the laughing on the sidelines pack is just white, all crayola, white crayons. 
And Scotty's like, yeah, I had this custom made. I did the, Even the lettering on the wrapper, they won't even put. It's white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not. That is still like one of my favorite things that happens. <laughs> like, like a listener sent a, a racist box of crayons. Yeah, I got one for Christmas one And time. Derek wasn't on the episode, so he didn't get to see it. So I took a picture of the box of crayons and sent it to him. And I'm like, you motherfuckers, you have legitimately made people think that I'm a racist. And he just texts me back. He's like, whoa, I did not see that coming. N-A-Z-I. It's spelled N-A-Z-I. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> you fucking dick. Ah, all right. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's still, uh, yeah, it's those I'm memories, I'm getting old, man. though. I yeah, forget that stuff. That's true. Uh, next one comes in from Ian Hodder. He wants to know rejected names for a sperm bank. JP. <laughs> <laughs> JP's JP because it J- only takes JP's, deposits. JP's mouth. Yeah. Oh, it only God. takes deposits. Uh, I, I don't know. Jizz in a jar. That's all I got. Spank of America. Nice. Ah, that's good. That's good. I like it. No, Fuck man. Yeah. I need an account. Do you think they have sperm credit unions? Maybe. <laughs> if they maybe. have sperm banks? I don't know. I have no idea, to be Can honest. Can you get a loan? Dude, maybe that's... <laughs> you maybe need to borrow some sperm, JP. You need JP. to borrow some sperm, I think You got to pay it back. I'm going like, to the sperm bank tomorrow to ask for a loan. <laughs> you should. You should do that. You should. Yeah. Sign a contract. Dude, that's the kind of shit we should do on this show. That would be great. We should take a crew <laughs> JP and would, fucking film me going to this fucking sperm bank and asking for a fucking withdrawal. You Wait. would not ask for a withdrawal. You would ask to start a tab. Yeah. You right. Would. Of course, because I can't afford it. Well, why, the other thing I don't understand is I don't is know just, what's a shot run for these days. Why, why, I'm why, guessing I can't afford it. I need a chaser. That's, yeah. I don't understand why you wouldn't just go to the sperm bank to provide your seed for somebody else that would want it. Yeah, maybe there's a nice lesbian couple that yeah. wants it. <laughs> no. That's why. Yes. Fuck that's all right. that. Oh. I'm not letting my baby be raised by some fucking oh, maniac but lesbians. But it's not. It wouldn't technically be yours. Yes, it would. Not really. Oh, yeah. Only way they'd find you is if they had a DNA, DNA test of some kind. Well, they, they do. They, They're yeah, going to they, test yeah. the sock. <laughs> yeah, dude, for sure. <laughs> they would 23 and me your ass so fast. Ah, this is That would be great. Yeah. They'd that would find be the awesome. extra chromosome to be 24 and me. <laughs> oh, God. You think they have that? <laughs> 24 and me. Oh. With the extra chromosome? Like, what other retarded people are you linked to? Oh, absolutely. That's great. Okay, uh, next one. 24. 24 and me is good. Next one, Nolan Cadramas again wants to know, what is an unwritten rule of where you work? Fingers are only for typing. What? Mm -hmm. Fingers are only for typing. What would fingers be for other than that? None of your goddamn business. <laughs> oh, duh. I got to go where Derek works uh, a couple days ago. Nice establishment. I did not go down the meth head bathroom, but I saw where it was. Yeah, you did get to see where that was. I did. That was awesome. Um, I don't really know of one that's... Cr- I mean, I work at a fucking dealership. It, like, I don't no don't let jp throw his jacket in your rent a car that's totally true yeah (laughs) that's that's an unwritten rule between jp and myself (laughs) no more backpacks in the cars (laughs) that's right (laughs) that that'll be a good one uh how about you jp what's an unwritten rule it's a weird i fucking everybody's been working a a restaurant there are no there are no rules Ah, no. Well, don't fuck with people that handle your food. That's that's, a, that's right, a word. but that's not in my... Oh, no. Okay, that's a better question. That's a much better question. Not necessarily for the staff, but for a customer, for a customer. coming in. Yeah, don't fuck with the, don't don't, fuck with don't, the people yeah, that that's a good point. make your food. Okay. Don't tell me how This you're... is a really... This question makes me want to fucking sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And you picked it. I, dude, uh, shut up. That's um, cool, man. Don't tell somebody. I feel like you don't look at all the questions because you pick the same people for everything. No. So I, you're like, I, okay, let's pick all this guy's questions. There, there's a whole them. bunch of people that actually listen to the show on a daily basis or on a weekly basis, mm-hmm. and they have new material. There are also other people that must not listen to the show on a weekly basis because it's the same shit. They just keep adding stuff to it. And it's like, um, yeah, that's that. we've already done that. All right, man. So anyway. Okay. And you know what you could do? You could yeah, fucking I keep help. You, I keep telling you, man, I want to get together and talk about this shit. Let's I know. fucking do we this. We got to figure Let's out a day. Do some we can't. We can't. I mean, 
Uh, the other one I was going to say is uh, don't tell somebody how to do their job, and I don't care where the fuck you are. Yeah. That's uh, that's a big one. Don't don't tell me that I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Appreciate that. The one that drives me nuts, uh, I used to not until my buddy Brian told me how it drove him crazy, and now it kind of drives me crazy. What is it? Is when someone like takes their credit card mm-hmm. or their debit card or whatever it is, and they just go... And fling it out on the... Oh, yeah, fuck, I don't care man. for that. I had a dude that was like fucking 80, and I asked him for his ID uh, so I could give him his account information. And he's like, I've been banking here for 30 years. Don't I give said, a fuck, sir. Well, I've worked here for three, and I've never seen you. I just need to... And he takes his wallet, and it's got its ID, his ID like in the wallet, and he just goes and throws it. And I looked at it, and I went, thanks. <laughs> and fucking <laughs> threw it right back at him. I'm like, That's fuck awesome. you, man. We're petty people, just mm-hmm. so you're aware. For sure. Uh, all right. Uh, next one comes in from Wyatt Carmichael. He wants to know, what's the best way to get revenge on an ex? Sleep with their uncle. <laughs> <laughs> JP did that. No, that's my niece's boyfriend. <laughs> oh, Wyatt Carmichael is my niece's boyfriend. So oh. the best way to get revenge on your ex is sleep with her uncle. Okay, there you go. Just in case they ever break up. I want him to have some options. Okay, for, okay, that's good. Um, I, the best way, and I'm not making any jokes is completely forget about them. Like just legitimately don't let them affect your life ever, ever again. That will hurt 10 times more than you fucking their friend. So there you go. Oh there. God. I saw one where a guy like bought a car and registered <clears throat> it in her name Oh, and, uh, then, and then parked fucking. it in like an illegal parking spot mm-hmm. and then just left it there. Wow. And uh, yeah, it didn't turn out good. <laughs> <laughs> All so, right. So I'm vindictive. I guess I would do shit like that. That's fine. That's like, totally I, you. I had a, a dude that he sent a crackhead in to talk to me about comedy. Oh, fuck. Yeah, when I was bartending. And he he's like, yeah, he told story. me to ask for you and blah, blah, blah. And so this has happened like four that's years ago. That's awesome. And I was fucking this. like livid because I couldn't get rid of the dude. That's amazing. So what I did... Uh, Four years later, <laughs> oh nice! I did not forget, and I put uh, I got on all the car dealership websites and put that he was interested in a car, <laughs> and they will not leave him the fuck alone. <laughs> That's awesome. He's like, I've told him it was bullshit, and they won't fucking stop calling. <laughs> that's fucking great. So that's like one of my favorites. Right. That's a, it's a good one. It is. Uh, last one, Braxton Lent. He wants to know what's something you did as a kid that is now totally embarrassing to think about now. Like, I'm going to tell that asshole. I slept with a chick. <laughs> huh? I slept with a chick. Yeah. That's fucking gross. And <laughs> fucking embarrassing. It doesn't count if she was related. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Oh, that's disgusting. Um, I, I don't really know. Like, all this stupid shit. I never really did anything crazy embarrassing, I don't think. I watched stupid TV shows. <laughs> I did a lot of this, man. Did you? Yeah. I've told you this story. Okay. I got drunk over at my friend Emily's one night. We were drinking tequila, and we were going like shot for shot, uh-huh. and we drank a lot. And I fucking blew up a rubber glove and put it on my head and got oh, naked yeah. and ran around her neighborhood twice yelling, I'm a squid, I'm a squid. Yeah, I did That kind of shit. That. I mean, if that's what you're talking about, I'm not. Yeah. I, here's the thing. I would do it today. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not really, I don't know if I'm like fucking embarrassed or yeah. anything because well, I would do it again. I would probably do mine so again too. I don't have much embarrassing stuff. I, I don't think that. I, I had a bunch of friends in high school and middle school that were obsessed with the TV show Jackass. So we did the exact same thing that Jackass was doing at the time when they first came out. And we called it original dumb fuck because that was an original idea. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, we dumb would, fuck. Yeah, so and worked. we would go into like stores and yeah. fuck with people. Yeah. And uh, one time, I let them play um, tic tac toe on my nipples using a rubber band, mm. like snapping the fucking thing, and mm. it hurt. So okay, is that why you don't like your nipples touch? A, parent, yeah. a fucking apparently, it's yeah. all downhill from that's there. actually why. I have hair only growing around my nipples. It apparently stimulated my hair follicles wow. around my nipples. Very well. Well, sweet. So now we just got to hold you down <laughs> and, and fucking snap you, <laughs> snap you all over the place. Yeah. I'm a man, God damn it! Yes. Oh, God. It hurt. Uh, how about you, Derek? I'm not telling. Okay. <laughs> I've, I've done plenty of stupid shit, plenty of embarrassing shit. Uh, there is one thing that a friend of mine did that I remember when we were kids, like I'm talking kids. Yeah. And we were like, I want to say we were like probably eight and we were camping in like one of the kids' backyards. Mm-hmm. And, 
uh, we had to, they let us do a campfire and we were trying to keep the campfire going. And then my buddy just pisses on the campfire. And we were like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? It put, put it out. And he goes, what? Peace flammable. Like, <laughs> I remember that. Oh, wow. Okay. That, and that I, is dumb. But yeah, just a stupid shit like that. I never <clears throat> did anything outlandish. But Ugh. All right. That's fair enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's questions and preguntas. Uh, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled every Friday for the Monday Friday uh, section where you, you get some new suggestions. Uh, now we can move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, I did not do well last week. As expected. That's normal. That's normal. Um, when you draft your favorite colors, you could only pick it pre- once. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. White. Pretty much. White. All is in. I'm going to go with white. <laughs> Off white. Fuck you. Uh, Thanks, Joe White. Yeah. Beige. <laughs> That's as close as I'm getting. Beige is as crazy as I get. <laughs> That's pretty good. Sorry, uh, <laughs> but no, I uh, I came in dead last. Uh, Jeremy Joseph actually won. The legend, but he's not here. So yeah. quit clapping. Uh, so that just means that uh, JP won on a technicality. Um, and so, oh shit! I'm sorry. I switched these around. So uh, that just means that uh, JP gets the championship picks. I get the sandwich picks uh, because of the technicality, and Derek gets the first overall pick. And Derek, what are we drafting today? Uh, today we are going to draft who we think Jake Paul will fight next. Okay. Um, he fought a 58 year old Mike Tyson and a couple of retired MMA fighters. He's fought one boxer uh, that is actually under 58 and lost mm-hmm. um so who's he gonna fight next one key stipulation of this draft he has he or she okay have to be alive gotcha all right like it all right okay uh derek who is your first overall pick well jake paul this summer look out he will be fighting joe biden oh fuck <laughs> Uh, this summer? I don't know. <laughs> it better be this summer. Because it's not going to be an exit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because then we he may would, just have to do this one in the winter, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> he might be DQ'd off of this draft. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> He'll just be walking around the ring trying to smell him. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. I'm going to go with, uh, he's going to be fighting Kanye West. All right. That I'd pay to see. See? See? This is... <laughs> that I would pay to see. That's what on I'm Tubi. talking about. It'll be on Tubi. Oh, yeah. That on Tubi. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. And it'll be way better than fucking Netflix. It won't buffer at all. Yeah. Uh, what do you got, JP? Um, let's start with... Uh, Michael J. Fox. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> damn! Damn! You guys are going hard in the paint God here. damn it. Uh, all right, JP, you get one more. He's got a hell of a combo, though. <laughs> he does. Guy Fieri. Uh, okay. okay. Guy Fieri. Yeah. All right. Um, I, uh, I, I'd I, probably pay to see this. I don't, I, uh, I don't know. But I'm going to go with Jason Kelsey. Okay. Hmm. I, I'll go with that. He's retired. Sure. He's retired. Athlete. Okay, sure. Bigger. Okay. So, yeah, I'll go Jason Kelsey. Great pick, man. Hey, man, uh, I'm trying to win. You know, I, 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 I only do not. this. I only do this to win. Okay. 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 No, yeah, yeah. Not really. Uh, go ahead. Go, Derek. You get two in a row. Uh, Peter Dinklage. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. All right. And what's your next one? Jimmy Carter uh, is getting ready to I turn 100 gone. years old. I think he did already turn Did he one. turn 100? Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, you want to talk about somebody who's close? I think Jimmy Carter whoop his ass. <laughs> <laughs> He's a peanut farmer. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Fuck the whole Jake Paul fight. It needs to be Joe Biden versus Jimmy Carter. <laughs> well, that would be that, interesting. That too. would be an interesting fight. Uh, okay, I guess I will go. Uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, that was actually a pick that I had. I'm going to go with Mark Zuckerberg. Facebook. 
Yeah, we know. Uh huh. I know who Mark Zuckerberg the, the is. Zuck. Thanks. Zuckhead. Uh, JP, you get two in a row. Uh, Tiger Woods. Ooh, he's had some experience only with women. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah, it's okay. Plus, he's like a fucking shell of his former self. He yeah. can't even hardly walk. Uh, I know, it sucks. Uh, I like Tiger, though. And uh, Martha Stewart. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, I don't know his name. Oh, well, this is going to go well then. Uh, well, it he kinda, says that while he's looking up shit on his phone, so he doesn't think that he's getting the answers from his phone. No, right. I don't. Well, because because I don't know his name, I got to look. Because it up. this person is actually a boxer that um, won the women's gold medal in the Olympics. You're talking about? Oh God! I'm going to go with that one. Whoever that was. Yeah, the one that everybody said was a dude. Uh, that is actually, that about. actually yeah, confirmed. Blah, blah. Actually confirmed last week. Totally a dude. Oh, All gosh. right, we got you, Mike. Uh, yeah, good what job, Mike. Saying? Way Chick, to go, buddy. Women should be allowed to win that medal. Uh, how about you, Derek? You get two in a row. Uh, I'm going to go with Virginia McCaskey. I don't know who that is. That is the elderly woman of the Chicago Bears. Um, yeah, you would like that. Yep, I would love that. Okay. And Steve-O. Ooh, that might actually happen. I can see him fighting Steve. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he would do it. Uh, he would do it for not a lot. Uh, I, ah, damn it. I'm trying to. Oh, you know what? We might as well go back to what basically just happened. We're going to go George Foreman. Okay. Is he alive? Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, but. He's definitely not in great shape, so we're going to go with that. Okay. And last one, JP, what do you got? Antonio Brown. <laughs> Ooh, <right. laughs> okay. I can see that happening. I can see. I can actually see that happening. I can see your last pick happening and your last pick happening. I that's, that was, that that's, was one I was holding on to. I was hoping nobody would take. That's, that is good. That is a good one. Way to go, guys. That's actually a pretty solid list for both of you. Mine sucks. I know it sucks. Correct. It's totally fine. Well, it's fine. But I, I still like I, some of these I would pay to actually watch. I thought about Morgan Freeman. That'd be fucking but man. I just don't think I could. Freeman. I don't think I, don't, I could watch yeah. him get his ass kicked. Right. No, I just don't that'd be too. It'd be too tough. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Any uh, honorable mentions? JP was going to say Stephen Hawking. Yeah, if he was alive, uh, yeah. JP was going to pick that. Or Bob Barker. Um, I was going to do Justin Bieber. Um, but he's just too small. I'd pay to see that just I'm, to see Justin Bieber in a fucking pair of sure, shorts. Like, sure. I'm, I'm, get me in. Um, I'm in. They may do some like uh, longest yard shit and let P. Diddy out of the fucking let him, yeah. cell block and yeah. let him go to town. They could go um, the other way. Maybe go the Rizzler. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Rizzler. Got it. Anybody else? No? Nope. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com Val slash. Kilmer. Oh, oh, yeah. Damn it. Oh, that yeah. That, was, that, oh, that hurt. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I should have picked Val Kilmer. Oh, it man. Would have been a good one. Oh, it would have. That sucks. Uh, but yeah, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or X, which is at LOT sidelines, and vote for uh, your favorite list of people you think that Jake Paul might fight next. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang and JP. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Uh, but more importantly, Mr. Derek the Rec Alders. Yeah, let's fucking go. The two-time funniest person in Wichita. Make That's sure right. you go out and see him uh, tonight at right. uh, at uh, Club Wave. Yep. Um, I think uh, we did post all the information on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. Uh, that is here in Wichita, Kansas. If you get a chance to go out and uh, see them, it'll it will be a lot of fun. Um, and then you get to see Derek go up, say hi to him. He likes it when you do that shit. Oh, I love it. Love it. Uh, all right. But now we get to move on to the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation. And, uh, this week's shitty situation is, would you rather always have to wear nipple clamps or always have to wear cum crusty socks? Cum socks. Crusty. Cum socks. Cum socks. Yeah. I was going to ask how fresh they are. The smell would be awful. 
It smelled like your breath. Really? Yeah. I think you no. were talking. I think he was talking to me. <laughs> Smell like no. my farts. I was gonna say it smell like your farts. Yeah. Scotty's yeah. breath. I knew it. I knew it. After I said it, I was like, "Wait a minute! Yeah. I know where this is going." Yeah. As soon as I leave, I know you guys are felching like crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Definitely. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Listen, I, I tell you what, this one's really, really difficult for me. But I have a really, really like big problem with like smells, and I think that if I couldn't have my comfy, cozy socks that I wear all of the fucking right. time. I knew you were going to go nipple clamps just because uh, you'd never take off your socks. You got to understand something, though. I hate both of these options. I don't like people touching my nipples, but I don't like not wearing socks more. So nipple clamps it is, baby, I guess. That's me. <laughs> Sterek's over here giggling. That's, that's nothing new for you, though. <laughs> no, it's not? No. Oh, no, I don't like it. I've seen bit. you without your shirt off. You, wear, <laughs> you stay strapped. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Oh, that's terrible. God, it's going to be uncomfortable for like a month, but then I'll get used to it. It's like piercing your nipples, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, but anyways, uh, how about you down there, JP? This is going to come as quite the surprise. <laughs> no, it's not. I'll do both. <laughs> oh, do both. I like to do both. I like to do both. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go with both. <laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna go with both. That's awful. This is not a <laughs> shitty situation for JP at all. Yeah, seems like seems like a Saturday night to me. Okay, <laughs> Derek. Well, actually, you know what? Crazy thing. I lent JP my nipple clamps. So, so I guess good. you're going cum socks. I'm going neither. <laughs> no, it is not. I was going to choose the clamps, but there's no. only three pairs. And so that JP's going to have to. No, there's three. So that no, means you have to choose. There's only two pairs. Okay. Then yeah. You're yeah. Correct. Have to Back yeah, I, there is three pairs, but I use two. Oh, okay. I, yeah. Are your nipples that far apart? No. <laughs> Like, like, yeah, one of my nipples is on my back. Yeah, it's a weird deal. <laughs> oh, God. No, but seriously, you got to pick between the one or the other. Ugh. Yeah, it's tough. I got Doesn't titties, so see. nipple clamps are going to be even weirder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're going to have to be special order. It's like, They're it's special order nipples for sure. Nipples are the same size. <laughs> They're special order for sure. I'm going to have to go with the clamps. Yeah. I have to. I, yeah, I just, of course, dude. Ugh. This wasn't that hard. Yeah, it... It, it is. It is. Because I think Cause of like with socks, nobody can like nobody knows. You got you got shoes on over. It's not like you're just walking around wearing the socks and that's it. You know. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, this is a real this is a real thing. So have you ever worn hey dudes when it was raining outside, JP? Yeah, of course. Okay, and they get soaked. Yeah. And then your feet start stinking. Yeah. That would be all the time. Only it would smell like jizz. Like disgusting, dried Dude, up. He's got jizz. Th- he's got three candles that are jizz scented <laughs> right now. You know those? I was just getting ready to say, you know those um, wax burners or Scentsy warmers <laughs> yeah, or whatever. Yeah, jizz. I just put my cum sock oh, in the in the oh, Scentsy. Oh, that's so and, gross. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's terrible. That's a fire hazard, JP. You yeah, should be it is. Careful. You, that's that. Like, I've got an extinguisher right by the right by the bed. Oh God, it's awful. Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Thank you guys so very much. And always a special thanks to JP and Derek Alders. JP is awesome, but um, not enough to let us tell you his last name, even though it's all over Facebook. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, it's thank you. It's comic. Yep. No, it's changed. No, it's changed now. Not in my phone. Oh. <laughs> JP Comics. hey And what's my name, Derek? Squatty German. <laughs> Squatty German. <laughs> there you go. Scotty Cheese. That's the uh, other one, yeah. Scottistic. <laughs> <laughs> am, I, am I autistic? I think so. I think probably a little for bit. sure. Yeah, because when you yeah. get into shit, like you get into yeah, shit. Like this true. bourbon thing, just all of a sudden out of nowhere. Now, now he's got a bourbon corner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's true. Yeah, like Pretty next, soon he's going to have a sign hanging up beside it. Yeah. Scott's bourbon. Like the next month or two. Like no, we won't be German's it. bourbon, dude. Oh, that's good. Well, I, I can have that sign made. There you go. With the shelf that's lit up on the bottom like I see on see? all the fucking web pages. German's bourbon. That'd be all right. The next show, we're not going to be able to get out of here until Scotty names all the dinosaurs in alphabetical order. <laughs> <laughs> great ah uh, shit well thank you guys both very much i sincerely do appreciate you coming on the show when you can and thank you to the listeners out there we sincerely do appreciate everything that you do telling your friends about us is always great we appreciate you guys sharing our stuff on all of the platforms i have our platforms i have not been posting very much for a specific reason so uh hopefully that will be uh starting again up soon 
Um, I, I try to post as much as I can, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, but as we always like to say, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you go to the Wichita's Funniest Person Finals, but you have to sit through JP's set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. If you don't like us... Tell your enemies. And until next time, guys... It keeps going, 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 going. Until next time... Keep laughing, assholes. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>